these times we're living in are hard for everyone, especially seniors. Some haven't seen their family in months, but local assisted living homes like Manor Park are trying to make the best of it so they don't feel so alone. With this ever changing virus comes ever changing options for seniors living in assisted living homes. For residents at Manor Park, right now that means options of FaceTiming and Skyping loved ones, window visits, social events, staff visits, chaplain time, and more. We wanted to, to make sure that, that the residents here have every avenue of, of talking to their loved ones. Administrators here say they've been trying to go the extra mile. Through a normal window, it's hard to see the room, it's hard to see them, you, you can barely see them. Here in, in our environment, our setting, you're actually able to see them from head to toe and see how they really are. It's all about making the most of the situation, requiring some, like the living community's chaplain, to do the job of many. In this time of age where we're doing social distancing, he, he's even more involved in trying to find ways and that way residents know that their spiritual needs are, are met. Manor Park says once the spread slows down, they'll allow additional pastors, ministers, and spiritual mentors to come in. And attention to detail is key. Now, more than ever. If we see that an individual is struggling, we can quickly communicate that to our chaplain and make sure that, that, that our residents are getting the appropriate attention that they need. Because after all, the root of it is love. I don't ever want to lose sight of the human touch of us showing, showing them how much we care and how much we love them and how much uh, they mean to us. Now, Manor Park has not implemented a pen pal program, but they say they are in talks about it. And they do have a team of recreational employees that gather the residents' mail, deliver it to them, and read it to them with their permission. Reporting in Midland, I'm Rachel Ripp for News West 9.